The thin line between freedom of speech and offensive derogatory comments on others is now perhaps being crossed ever so easily with the rise and rise of social media, a virtual space that has in itself caused a social revolution but also created a virtual skewed reality that allows people to get away with offensive comments without fear of retribution. But when hours before appearing before the Parliamentary Committee on Defence and Foreign Relations, blogger and journalist Dennis Itumbi went to the High Court to file a case against one such derogatory statement by a Twitter user, he sought to prove that the law against defamation applies just as well in the virtual realm. Dennis Itumbi filed the case on claims that between the 10th and the 14th of March 2012, the accused a Robert Alai maliciously and wrongly composed tweets on his account aimed at falsely accusing him of intrusion on the ongoing ICC case with a view of indicting President Mwai Kibaki. In Itumbi's application, some of the tweets Robert Alai is alleged to have posted include fake ICC letter authored by Dennis Itumbi. Don't give Itumbi and Moses Kuria much airtime with these fake documents they author and distribute for propaganda. And some primitive chauvinists who wish to scare Kibaki into handing over power with such fake memos. End quote. Itumbi now seeking an apology and retraction and compensation for damages both psychological and emotional as well as cost of suit. This among the first of such cases that continue to raise concerns over the impact of social media. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.